Let us evaluate the integral of sine 3x over sine x dx. So the first step is I will try to transform this sine 3x on the numerator in terms of sine x using trigonometric identities. So we can split this sine 3x as sine of 2x plus x and by the application of sum of angle identity for sine, that is if we have sine a plus b, it's equal to sine a cos b plus cos a times sine b. So if we let 2x be equal to a and x be equal to b, we can have sine of 2x plus x equal to sine a. So that sine 2x times cosine b. So that's cosine x plus cosine a. So that's cosine 2x times sine b. That's sine x. Then I can apply further the double angle identity for sine 2x. So that's 2 sine x cosine x times cosine x plus also applying the double angle identity for cosine. In terms of sine, that's equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x times sine x. So simplifying, we have 2 sine x times cos x times cos x. So that's cos sine squared x. Plus, we can distribute this sine x. So 1 times sine x, that's positive sine x. The negative 2 sine x times sine x, that's negative 2 sine cube x. So I want everything to be in terms of sine. So I can apply the Pythagorean identity for cosine squared x. So that's equal to 1 minus sine squared x. Okay, then copy the remaining expression plus sine x minus 2 sine cube x. I can distribute this 2 sine x, multiply 2 sine x times 1, that's 2 sine x. Then 2 sine x times negative sine squared x, that's negative 2 sine cube x. Plus sine x minus 2 sine cube x. Then I can combine similar terms, particularly this 2 sine x plus sine x. So that's 3 sine x. And also negative 2 sine cube x minus 2 sine cube x, that's negative 4 sine cube x. So therefore, the equivalent form of sine 3x in terms of sine is 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x. So I can plug in that in the original integral. So sine 3x on the numerator, I will uh, represent that in terms of this expression. 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x. Then over the denominator, which is sine x. So now, I can... Uh, Distribute this sine x to every term on the numerator. So I will have 3 sine x over sine x minus 4 sine cube x over sine x quantity dx. So simplifying, we have 3 sine x over sine x cancel the sine x that's just equal to 3 minus 4 sine cube x over sine x. So canceling out the sine x, we still got 4 sine squared x on the numerator times dx. So we can uh, distribute the integral symbol together with the dx so that we can integrate term by term. So we have the constant 3, just put it in front of the integral, times the integral of dx minus constant 4, put in front of the integral, times the integral of sine squared x dx. So for this first integral, I can evaluate that as 3 times integral of dx, it's just x. And for the second integral, 4 integral of sine squared x dx. So 
The integral of sine squared x dx cannot be evaluated directly, but we can apply the reduction formula. So we have negative 4 integral of, so sine squared 2x is the same as 1 half times the quantity 1 minus cosine 2x dx. And then I can just uh, put this one up in front of the integrals. So you mean to multiply negative 4 times 1 half. So that's negative 2 integral of 1 minus cosine 2x dx. So we can distribute the integral symbol together with the dx again. So that's negative 2 integral of 1 dx or simply dx. Distribute negative 2 here. Negative 2 times negative cosine 2x. So that will become positive 2 integral of cosine 2x dx. So for this first integral, we can evaluate that that's equal to negative 2 integral of dx, that's simply x. For this part, I can apply u substitution first. So I let u be equal to 2x. Get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of 2x is 2dx. So what I need is just the dx on the integral. So, I'll get rid of this extra coefficient of 2 for dx by dividing both sides by 2. So, I can have dx equal to du over 2. And then, substituting here, we have 2 integral of cosine 2x that's just now equal to u. Then, dx that's equal to du over 2. Okay, so... This one half is just constant, so I can just put it in front of the integral. So we will multiply 2 times 1 half, so that's just equal to 1. So therefore, we have just the integral of cosine u du. Evaluating the integral of cosine u du, so that's just equal to positive sine u. But don't forget to transform back the u in terms of x, so u is equal to 2x. So we have sine 2x. And then, rewriting the first uh, two terms of our integral, we have the 3x and the negative 2x. So, copy it here. We have 3x minus 2x, then plus sine 2x, then don't forget the plus c. Then, we can still combine 3x minus 2x, so that's just equal to x, plus sine 2x plus c. So, therefore, this is the final answer.